Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon at any time during the video to read more about it or to download it from the App Store. Welcome to Slice Fractions, which is a math app that does not feel like a math app. It is the cutest little game and it's reminiscent of Cut the Rope, but it has a baby mammoth and hilarious hats and it actually teaches math. No, it really does. And I've played this all the way through to the end, just for fun. Here we are at the very beginning, one of one. Let's start here. Excellent, clear visual instructions. There are no verbal instructions, so everything you need to know you can see. There was a mammoth in there, a baby mammoth. All right, so I have no idea what to do. Oh, here we go. I need to tap these little bubbles to clear the, pla clear the path for him to go across. And there is a cat volcano sleeping, or now not sleeping, in the background. was very helpful cat volcano now here we go visuals pop the bubbles and the same size blocks will fall down and make the lava go away and clear the path oops <laughs> and drop one on the mammoth as he goes past now here we have to start thinking so if I pop some bubbles uh, I can, here's another bubble, there we go, this one down here, and this one down here, and if I let this one go, and drop it down here, ta-da, he gets to get another hat. <laughs> okay, down we go, and... Oh, I got that wrong. So what happens now? I have to refresh it. If I get it wrong three times, I think it is, it will give me a visual hint, which is excellent, excellent because I'm pretty dopey some days. Oh, here we go. Well, that wasn't very helpful, no. Cat Volcano. Okay, if we pop this bubble, these two will hover over here. So it starts nice and easy, and gives you an idea that it's just basic, you learn by trial and error as we go. But let's now go back to another level. So we've just done the first section, let's tap this next little learning hat, and it shows that if we start at 1 of 11 we can understand how to slice shapes into equal shares. Let's see if I can understand how to, oh look, slicing, very nice. Slice, and ta-da! And here we are again, but this time we need to slice it first, and then we need to pop the bubbles. And here's where it starts getting tricky for me. Down the middle, and across and across. I just don't think in triangles, I think in squares. So let's move on to the next section which is understanding that shapes can, can be compared to a common whole. So let's have a look at how they deal with this. Excellent, you can see the hole there and you can see what one we need to be doing here. Oops, let's pop, 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 pop. And, well, I think I may have done that prematurely because that needed to slide down those, didn't it? Oh, dear. Told you. Not very bright. So if I let this one go, down you go. Tumble, tumble. There we go. And now I can pop this one. And there we go. OK. 
Okay, I can slice these. And down they fall. I only need that one for that side because that's a half. And this one I need to slice just one. Oh, I'm going to end up leaving. I've left a block in his path, so I need to replay that one. But see, you just learn this by trial and error if you don't understand fractions or if you're not sure of what's going on. Let's have a look. Understanding that the upper symbols count equal parts. So let's have a look at one of 27. This really is a fantastic game. Okay, three quarters here and one quarter here. So I need to split this block Whoop. that way. So that way half of it goes there. And then if I split this way, that leaves a quarter for both sides. Yeah. We've had a look at the ones. Let's have a look at the twos. Understanding how to read fractions. Okay, here they are. I can drop this one down. They both look like they need quarters. There's a quarter there and a quarter there to solve them. By the way, each time you get to the end of a level, you get a new hat. And I should have heaps of hats. Look at the next one, which is understanding how to use the denominator. Uh oh, I need a quarter here. So let's slice a quarter off up here. And here I need quarters for each of them. So slice here and slice here and here. Pop, pop, drop, drop. Ta da! Understanding how to use the numerator. Let's go and do that. Ooh, one sixth. And the top block up there is broken up into six parts. We need to get two of them to go over to the right and one of them to go to the left. So, oh no, 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 I didn't. Here, let's start again. I didn't swipe in quite the right place. Let's go. Try again. That's it. So, one sixth there and two sixths, which I could have done both at the same time, over here. Okay, section three, comparing fractions successfully. Let's have a look. Oh, so one's bigger and one's smaller. So we're looking to put the littler one down here and the bigger one here. Comparing fractions, one's bigger, one's smaller. Okay, let's have a look. Understanding equivalent fractions starts here. Ooh, so we've got a half down the bottom, which means we want... Uh-oh, but what do these bubbles do? Oh, that shuts that side, which is fine. We want all the ones from this side, because the other one shows up two-thirds. What else we got? Understanding how to subtract fractions from one. Surely I can subtract fractions from one. Ah, I like this one. Okay, so each time the little lava drops on the ice, it takes it away by one. So underneath here, we need to have it end up as half. So if we go over here, we want one to go away there and one to go away from there and a quarter to go away from there to end up as three quarters. Pom, pom. So we've got to a section here which just shows you an achievement level and hopefully you get to see his selection of hilarious hats. He can have a plunger, my personal favourite, the moose hat, or a Mexican hat, or a, an ice cream cone, or a flat beaver. I think we'll leave him in an ice cream cone. But seriously, this little cute mammoth, he's great fun for anyone who simply enjoys problem solving apps like me or a student who is new to learning fractions or one who knows fractions reasonably well. Basically, I think just about anybody who has the ability to understand what they're playing here is really going to enjoy it. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.